What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to answer the question, should you use sub for sub slash view for view slash like for like uh, services, especially if you have a YouTube channel and maybe you're new and you want to sub, right, subscribe to someone's channel in return for you being subscribed to, okay? Um, so this is something that I used to do, guilty as charged, at the very beginning, you know, when I had one subscriber and I'm thinking, how the heck can I make my information known and out there? Uh, let me do sub for sub services and let me uh, kind of get a few subscribers. Let me just get myself out there, show people that I'm worth something and then the traffic will naturally come in. That was a mistake. And what I wanna do is show you a case study. So not you know sharing with you my opinion, but actually sharing you a case study and telling you what the statistics looked like as I went through this and as I went through uh, these sub for sub services at the beginning of starting my YouTube channel. So um, let me begin. So here is are my statistics, okay? So I'm being very transparent with you guys for the past 28 days, okay? So over the past 28 days, from August 20th to September 16th, I've gained 422 subscribers, I've lost 28. So if we do the math here, do 28 divided by 422, that's about 6.6%, say 10%, okay? Based on my uh, observations, you know, I'm looking at forums and whatnot, 10% I think is pretty standard, it's pretty average. You know, 20 people said they completely hate me and hate my channel, so they unsubscribe, which is totally fine. Um, but the point is, you know, this is below kind of that scary value of saying, oh my God, like what's happening? Why are so many people unsubscribing? So let me just compare this with me starting my sub for sub uh, program, right? And they're basically websites, as you may probably already know, um, where you can go to and you can subscribe to other people's channels. And in return, you get subscriptions back to your channel. So let me just show you what that looked like when I first started. So if I'm gonna go to my uh, custom range, let's see when I first started my YouTube channel, January 22nd. And let's go up till say March 1st. Okay, so I'm just using March 1st as an example. So this is about, you know, a month and a week over here. But over here, you see this big Skype uh, uh, spike of subscribers, okay? So as you can see over here, um, you know, I have 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, you know, 1, 1, 4, and then boom, all of a sudden it's 35. And that's because I use this sub for sub service where I would subscribe to people, uh, like it's, it's like 10 or 20 people a day. Um, in this case, I used a, a, you know, a few different sources and then they would subscribe back to you by the end of the day. So you would get a bunch of people. So as you can see here, I have this big spike. I have the spike there. I did some there. So in total, you know, I got about 43 of these fake subscribers. Uh, now this was a mistake. Okay. So I would not recommend you do this. Why? Well, because I ended up being at the exact same place I was. The only difference was I now had a headache. All right. So thing is, I gained all these subscribers, uh, you know, thinking that I would look good in the eyes of YouTube viewers um, saying, hey, you know, this guy's got some subscribers. He must have good content. Let me ch check him out. But I ended up being at the same spot I would have been were I to not use this, because if you take a look at this. Ever since, you know, after that time period, I just couldn't get through a certain number of subscribers. And the reason for that is because I kept dropping. So you remember, we just did the calculation. Uh, you know, we, we counted over the past 28 days when, when I'm no longer using the sub for sub service, right? Uh, I only did this in like the first few days of me starting my YouTube channel. Um, the the percentage was about seven percent right now if you do the math here 43 divided by 126 that's about 35 percent that is huge that is a huge number of people unsubscribing from your channel something must be going wrong and the reason for that is because i use sub for sub these people aren't real they will unsubscribe at every opportunity they get so when you subscribe to them it doesn't matter because they're not gonna subscribe to you basically in net right in net it looks like they subscribe but in a few days or in a few weeks or in a few months they will unsubscribe so you're gonna lose all those people eventually and that's what you see here i had a huge spike right the, the, these were my sub for sub days kind of these four where i gained all these subscribers and then look at that even though i gained new subscribers i could not climb back so over here i gained one i lost zero which is fine um over here i gained one and i lost one okay so that was that day. Over here, I gained one, I lost zero. Let me show you some more. 
Over here, I gained one, I lost one again. And I was stuck at that number, which was actually about 83 for a long time. So like, I don't know, let's see, let's go until March 16th, right? So here it's 50, right? So I was stuck at this number for a long time. So look at this, in four days, I put in this right work, getting subscribers, and then for the next about two months, I just couldn't get out of this number 86. So this actually doesn't look good. So me thinking that, you know, me having four subscribers will look bad to the audience, uh, actually backfired because that's not the case. What does look bad is you being stuck on a certain number. In this case, it was about 85 for two months. That looked bad, okay? If I were to instead just leave it as, as is and not engage in these services and go from one subscriber to two to three to four to five to six to seven, that would show consistency. That would show that people are finally finding my, my stuff. They're finding it useful and there are more and more people are subscribing as opposed to me being stuck at 85. And that's what happened here for about two months. So I would get 86, I would go back to 85. I would get 88, I would go back to 84, right? And I was fluctuating in this area for a long time. And it was really psychologically draining because, you know, all the content at that time I was putting in one new video every single day uh, you know it was it was discouraging having to put that up for two months straight and just just not see any change in my subscriber count okay so my advice to you would be to just not do sub for sub as you can see from here like literally every day I'd have about one to two maybe three subscribers lost so every time I gained someone I would lose someone there's no point right now you'll have a bit more subscribers but what's the point of that right? Hopefully you're building your YouTube channel for the long term. You want to build a relationship and using sub or sub service is really not the way to go because you're going to lose your subscribers very, very quickly. All right. My advice to you would be to just do something you love, uh, share content you love. As you may have noticed, you know, on my website and on my YouTube channel, there is a lot of optimization uh, kind of left to be had that I'm not doing in terms of SEO uh, because I just like I just share my content. I don't really care about anything else right now. Uh, I'm just kind of putting everything out there, sharing everything that I know, uh, and that's kind of more than enough for me. Okay, so point is, just do something you love uh, instead of just getting YouTube for the purpose of selling or uh, getting subscribers, right, or whatever, um, because then you end up in a situation like this where you make it in the short term and then you drop, okay? So my advice to you, don't engage in sub for sub. Same thing with view for view, like for like. I've seen some comments uh, on some people's YouTube pages where it says, you know, some of their fans are writing saying, hey, what happened? You had this many subscribers, now you have this many all of a sudden, or you have this many likes uh, on a video, now you have this many likes or views or whatnot. And it just, you know, it just breaks that trust barrier between you and your viewers because now your viewers don't trust you and they know that something fishy is going on and you're not playing by the rules, right? You're not actually earning that which you should be earning as opposed to kind of making a quick buck out of it, right? Uh, so really losing the trust and eventually you're going to get to the exact same place whether you use sub for sub or not, but it's just going to give you a headache if you're using sub for sub. It's going to be really discouraging, demotivating. And again, I just wanted to share with you this case study showing you that really it's not worth it. You will lose those subs. You will lose likes, comments, whatever it is anyway. Um, it's just not worth it. It's fake. doesn't look good. Build something for the long term. Um, and, and rely on real value as opposed to uh, getting through it the, the short shortcut way, okay? Uh, so I hope this was helpful for you. Um, you know, same thing, by the way, uh, applies to view for view, especially if you're monetizing your videos and you're doing view for view, Google will shut down your AdSense account or they'll give you a strike or something uh, and they will say, you know, don't do not do this anymore. We're gonna monitor your activity because they don't want fake views, right? Um, obviously if you're getting, you know, view for view kind of things, that's, that's fake views, you know, that Google will identify it. Uh, so they don't want to pay for nothing. Okay. So just watch out when you're doing sub or sub or view for view or whatever it is, it's not worth it. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you. I share with you, you know, my own experience, my own case study, not just telling you what I think, but actually showing you that there's no value in it. You will lose whatever you gained in the short term. Uh, over a time period okay and it's going to be a headache being stuck at the same place like i was 85 for two or three months at a time uh if you guys have any questions comments concerns leave them down below i'll be more than happy to answer your questions answer your 
uh, look at your comments, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, how tos, reviews, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.